Hi friends, it's Sarah from ruffleshandrainboots.com and today we're making a less than 10 minute Easter Gnome bottle topper. He's cute and quick and if you'd like to make him, just boop, stick around. As always, please give this video a like so I know you're here. It does help the channel. Thank you so much. You can see from his tippy tippy top of his hat all the way down to his adorable tail. We've got some fun details incorporated in this and it's super easy to do whether you sew or glue. So you can see we can scrunch it up or keep it straight, whatever you'd like, full bottle wrap or just partial and cool little details here like the ears and the whiskers. As for supplies, I'm going to start out by using a rosé bottle. This is what I'm gifting. I'm going to use white Mongolian fur. This is a long pile. I'm going to use a white cotton, or what do you call it, pom-pom, embroidery thread. End up not using these Easter eggs as tags. You need something for a nose, a wood round piece of cork, felt ball. You need felt, felt for the ears. And then I'm using a sweater. You can do this without the sweater, but it makes it so easy just using the sleeve. So the very first part of this is you're just going to decide if your sweater works for your bottle, meaning it's not being stretched out too poorly, it's not have a lot of holes, and then you're just going to size it. So you can do a full wrap all the way down, you can do a partial wrap like I'm doing, it's your choice. And I'm just going to hold where I wanted to cut and just snip that straight off. The cool part is that you can get two hats doing it this way, so do pay attention to how you cut going to be super easy. Give it a lint roll. Pull off any pile uh, pieces because it. let's say you washed it and dried it and you weren't supposed to. Flip it right side out. Go two inches up from the bottom of the sleeve and then all the way to the other side. So you can see my seam is on the left and that's where I'm going to start my two inch rise and I'm going to go all the way up to the top with a ruler and a rotary cutter but you can use scissors. And this, this is the other gnome hat. All right, to assemble the hat, you can use a sewing machine or you can use a hot glue gun. This is a Surebonder Detail Tip Glue Gun. It takes mini glue sticks. It is not dual temperature and it has a cord, but I absolutely love this guy. It has not let me down yet. All right, so we're just going to glue that all the way up along that seam, all the way to the tippy point, and then set it aside to dry. For the Mongolian fur beard, I'm going to cut three and a half by about two inches high. And I'm just, you can see I've got my one side cut over there, so I'm using that. You can choose whatever shape you'd like. Mine is a rectangle. To cut, I'm using an X-Acto knife and just barely pushing down to cut only that fur fabric backing. So I'm going to show you here. You're just going to um, use something pointy. I'm using rounded off scissors here to pop out that very tip of the hat. See this? Bang it on the table a couple times and you can see. You can flip it up like this to hide the ears or you can leave it flat. So I am going to um, show you, I'm going to build this so that you can still see part of the label on my bottle. You don't have to. You can pull it all the way down, whatever, whatever you would like. But you can see here, I'm just getting an idea where this is going to sit and that way I know where to glue my beard. So speaking of gluing the beard, you again, you can glue it like this where you have a piece of it raised up at the bottom, like fold it up like a hem to hide the ears, or you can go straight like I'm doing here. So I'm working on the wrong side of the fabric, and then I'm gonna put something in between so that the glue doesn't seep through because it's just knit fabric. All right. So now we're going to build the beard first, but I just want you to get an idea of how much glue you're going to have. Make sure everything is right directly in the center. And now I'm going to put the nose onto the beard. So before I start, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to split the fur to its fabric backing in the middle. And then I'm going to put the nose just down from the top of the edge, maybe a half inch or so. So in order to do that, I'm just going to put some hot glue down and press my wood round right into that area. When it's done, drying. I'm just going to put hot glue on the bottom edge here of the inside of my sleeve. Again, remember we turned it right side out and I'm going to press just the faux fur back or the faux fur right into the front of this. It's pointing down, meaning it's going to be flipped right side out when we flip our hat out. And now I'm going to glue down just the tip of the hat right to the nose. You can see mine's kind of folded up right there. We're just going to pull it down and glue it right here. Just a little bit of glue if needed. Get that hot glue strand I just got on there off. Swoop. All right, for the tail, I'm using this 
pre-made pom-pom garland from one of the craft stores. I've had it forever. Just trim off that little excess there. And then to glue it on, I'm just going to flip this all over and actually put my little my shell. You don't have to use a shell. I'm going to be painting those a little bit later today. So that's why I have it there. But you're just going to put the hot glue and then before you press it down, make sure you have something there so the glue doesn't seep through to the front. And once that dries, you've started your little bunny. Now you can obviously leave off this tail, leave off the ears and you have a five minute uh, wine bottle cover. But I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go a little extra and do all the ears. They're really easy to make. Okay, so all I'm going to be using is white stiff felt. You can see it's see-through. It doesn't end up looking see-through when it's on your piece, but it's not expensive. You can get it in the kids section of the craft store. So I'm going to draw in white gel pen, just the random shape of a bunny ear. I didn't use a template. It's just wider at the bottom than it is at the top. It comes to a point at the top and fans out in the middle. I think by this point, if you're watching this video, you probably know what a bunny ear could look like. So I'm just going to trim off the other side of that and then I'm going to make sure that comes directly to a, like a nice fine point right up here. And then I'm just going to size it, make sure, because I didn't size it before. You can see mine is about two and a half inches tall and I'm just going to use that same ear to trace onto, again, white gel pen, tracing that onto the felt for a second ear. For the inserts, you can use pink felt, you can use fur, whatever you have, but I wanted to match my little hat, so I'm just cutting off a piece of the sweater sleeve where we had just cut it off and then fold it in half and do the same exact shape, just smaller. Making sure it just fits inside my white uh, outline ear there. There we go. Now, I will say that I learned if you glue these on with huge glumpy glue beads, they will show through. So instead, put your hot glue on and then kind of move it around just so that everything, it doesn't matter if you're using felt or you're using the sweater, um, it will show through. So you just want to use a little bit. It doesn't matter. It will stick. Just again, spreading it around and then popping it on. Easy peasy. You can either assemble the ears on like I'm doing here or take it off, but I'm just using a small amount of hot glue to just affix the very bottom right to the hat. And if you can't see what I'm doing here, there you go. I'm just going to split the difference, making sure the nose is in the middle. You can make them wide. You can make them right down at the bottom near the beard, whatever you would like. All I'm doing is just making sure they're on and I want them to stick out <laughs> like that. All right, so for decorating, I didn't know what kind of stuff I wanted to do, but I knew I needed whiskers. So first I'm gonna use dark gray embroidery thread. I'm just gonna cut about mm, three inches of that. I'm gonna split that. There's six strands, I want four of them. Each whisker is two strands of embroidery thread for me. You can do whatever you want. You can use wire, you can use Mod Podge to make them stiff whiskers, but I just took two strands, put a little hot glue, tucked it up under the nose. And then I did the other one and I pushed up the bottom. So I put a little glue directly, you'll see here. So I'm just separating it there. You can see I'm going to put a little glue directly on the bottom of the nose and then press that up into there for my second whisker. And then I'm going to scrunch up the very fur so it joins and hides that. I use these little, I don't know, I think they're paper flowers on little wired stems and just cut two of them off. I just wanted one little flower on each ear, but you could do a crown. Um, you could do a nice little fuzzy thing, put a little piece of fur there, whatever you'd like. I'm just going to glue these down with a smidge of hot glue. Try not to burn myself. And that's it. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I love him, but let me know in the comments. What do you think? Would you do this quick craft? As always, thank you so much for being here. Please like and subscribe, and here is a gnome playlist.